up, Bull Nation, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the Millicent questline. Now, this is an updated video from my Millicent questline, teaching you guys on how to get both of the talent at the same time when doing the questline. Now, unfortunately, guys, that actually got patched, but have no fear, because Laser is here. I'm going to tell you guys how you can get both talent once again, so you guys can be able to do the same amount of damage, especially if you're trying to put a blood build together. So what talisman are we exactly talking about? Well, we're talking about this one right here called the Rotten Winged Sword in Sigma. This is a very important one because it's going to greatly raise, raise the power attack with successful attacks. The next one you're talking about is the Millicent Prothesis. This is going to boost the steady raising attack power with successful attacks. You're going to have to make a choice and now once you watch the full entire video, that choice is going to become present to you and once we get to that part of the video, I'll tell you what choice gives you what. But you're going to have to make a choice and decide which of these ones you want to pick. Now, if you guys do pick this one, which is the Millicent Prothesis, then you're going to be left without this one, which is the Rod and Wing Sword. But the advantage you have, guys, of picking the Millicent Prothesis is the fact that now you're going to be able to pick maybe not the Rod and Wing Sword in Sigma, but you will be able to pick the Wing Sword in Sigma. I'm going to tell you guys exactly where to pick this up as well. So you could probably go with the Prothesis and get the benefit of the Wing Sword and Sigma, which is basically the same one. Now, you're probably wondering, Laser, that is pretty dope, but what is the difference between the Rod and Wing and Sigma and the Wing Sword and Sigma? The biggest difference, is, guys, is that this stacks up. It builds up every time you do consecutive attacks. So for the first attack, you get 6. For the second attack, you get 8. For the third attack, you get 16. And for the final attack, you get 22 with this one. Now on this one, it's almost the same thing. The only thing is that it only scales up to 16. It doesn't go all the way up to 20. Theoretically, it's not that big of an advantage, but hey, 22 is still better than 16. But hey, I'm still gonna teach you guys how to get both of them. So you theoretically gotta pick up the Millicent Prothesis and then pick up the Wing Sword and Sigma. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how exactly to pick this one up if you guys haven't picked this one already. So with that being said, let's dive in and show you guys how to complete this quest line. All right guys, to kick off the quest guys, you're gonna be going to this location right here, which is called the Celia Understair. Now, if you guys don't have this location unlocked, it's very easy to unlock. You should unlock the side, uh, right side of the portion of the map. Once you have this location, we're gonna be going to this marker right here where we're gonna be finding a shack. So what we're gonna do is we are going to summon our our torrent and we're going to head over there uh, along the swamps and we should be able to get there really fast and really easily it's not that far of a travel distance all you got to do is work your way up this way and go up the hill and then once you're up the hill you're going to notice that there is going to be the little shack up on top of another little hill right here so we just keep working our way this way and once we get to where the marker's at all we're going to do is make a left in front of this dog where we could kind of just avoid. And we're going to head into this shack. We're going to dismount our horse. And then we're going to go in here. And we are going to talk to this person right here, which is Gauri. So we're going to talk to them. So he'll tell you, he'll show you the secret of Celia. Of course, you're going to go ahead and go and click where it says hear the request. He's going to ask you to find Miss Celia, which is a little girl that's in a church. Alright, so to find her, you're going to have to go to this location right here, which is a Celia Hideaway. If you don't have this location on your map already unlocked, go to this one, which is called the 4th 4th, and then you should just be able to take the same path that I take. But we're going to be heading to the marker that I have marked here on my screen, which is this church right here. So I'm going to go ahead, fast travel here, which I'm already here, and then we're going to just exit the cave, which is like this. So if you guys do have access to this cave and you've already completed this kind of like mini dungeon, you guys should be good to go. All we're going to do is we're going to summon our torrent. And then we're going to head down this pathway right here. Just pretty much going down. The cool thing about this particular area, there is a site of grace. So all we got to do is head over there and then we should be fine. Now, work our way down here. Jump on down. Don't worry about this. Octopus guy. Just keep going. Keep rolling. And we're going to keep going through here. And the church is going to be located right in front of us which is right down here. Make sure you guys hit the side of grace. And as you guys see, we already kind of see her. She's over here. So make sure you guys unmount. And then once you unmount, click the side of grace just so you have that checkpoint. Always remember guys to pick anything you find on the ground because it could be helpful. Sacred tears, pick that up. And now we're able to talk to her as it was requested. All right, so now we talked to her. Now it's time to go back and talk to him again. So we're going to go to this location right here. Just mark it on the map, and we can actually ride over there without a problem. So, 
Let's go this way. Keep working our way through the cemetery. Just keep jumping on down here. Make sure you're always landing on the on the ledges because they're also going to take fall damage. Just keep going here. We're going to go to this tree right here. And you're going to notice that we can just easily, easily just drop down here. Keep riding like this. And you'll be able to hit the shack without a problem. And now we go down here. Alright, get off our horse. And now we're able to talk to him. He's right here. And let's go ahead and talk to him again. Alright, so now we got to find the needle, guys. And this is going to take us to this other location right now. Alright, so guys, we made it to the swamp. Now, there is a side of grace located right here if you guys want to pick that up. But I think it's a faster route just coming from the actual shack itself, working our way down here instead of fast traveling to this point here. I think it's faster this way. So, there's going to be this boss right there that we're going to have to fight. So, we're going to get ready to fight him. And we're just going to unmount really quick. And we're going to unmount. And then we're also going to pull out our mimic. Alright, so now that you killed him, guys, you're going to be able to collect that, and you're able to collect the gold needle as well. So now we're going to grab that gold needle, we're going to hit this side of grace real quick here, just to make sure we have a fast travel whenever we need to come back up here. And then we're going to pull up our map, and then once we pull up our map, we're going to go back to this location right here. So all we got to do is summon our torrent, and we're just going to head back to the location where we came from. Pretty easy, pretty simple. No, no need to get super carried away. To this part right here and then work our way up now it's a lot faster than i, I think than traveling to the uh side of grace if you already have it there it's just very simple way to actually get up here you don't need to fast travel too much so we're gonna go here and we're gonna jump on top of the rock again to avoid this little dog here and now we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go talk to him and then we should be good And there you guys go, he gives you the secret of Celia. You just press Y and collect it. Alright, so now that you already talked to him again, we're going to talk to him again. He's going to tell you the same thing. Uh, what you want to do is now you're going to want to make sure you fast travel back to the search of the plague. You should have a fast travel point now because you've already been there. And we're going to talk to the girl that's kind of just in the, you know, was there chilling. We're going to talk to her again, but this time around she's going to be kind of like sobbing and crying. So we'll talk to her again. Alright, so you're going to come and engage him once again. If he so he has awaited your return, he'll give you the needle. All right, so now he gives you the uh, needle, and you have to take it back to the girl, which we already know where she's at, right? So we're gonna go to the location of the church right here. We already know because we already have a checkpoint, so we just head over there and go to the church, and we shall find her. And now she should be able to come out of her sobbing once we give her the needle. And now she's going to say, do you want to give her the alloy needle? And yes, we do. All right, so what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to go back into the side of grace. And you click, and then you go and click pass time until morning. And then once you pass time until morning, you're going to go and talk to her one more time. And this time she'll give you a different dialogue. So let's go here. And she's right here. And this time she's actually standing up. So let's talk to her again. And now she's going to give you this token to wear hair room. So I'm going to click OK. After you get talking to her, guys, you're going to go back into the resting place. You're going to go past time again, and you're going to go past time until morning. And this time around, when the loading screen finishes loading, you're going to notice that she has disappeared. She's no longer there. So now what do we have to do? We actually have to go back to the shack again. So there's a lot of going back and forth to the shack. Go to the shack and work our way down this way again. So you guys should know the path already by now. Because we've been doing this for a while now. Go. Oh, I kind of missed that one. Okay, so cool. It didn't take no fall. Oh, it did take fall damage. I knew he was going to take fall damage too. Try to avoid that, but that's the main thing here. We want to try to avoid the fall damage. So we kind of want to land in a spot where we're not going to be taking too much fall damage because it does hurt Torrent. So we're going to go here. Now we're going to dismount again. And we're ready to dismount. Got to talk to her. And now she's actually here at the shack. So we're going to talk to her. And she's going to be like, hello again. Alright, so she'll tell you she needs to focus on her journey. We're going to do the same thing, guys. Fast travel here. And once we fast travel over here, we're going to do the same thing, which is past time. 
And then we're going to go back to the shack again. So same thing we did last time. So past sight, uh, past time until morning once again. And then we are good to go. So now we come here. All right. She's still not there, but we got to go to the, uh, to the, to the shack again. And this, hopefully this time we don't take fall damage because whew, last time we took fall damage. All right, here we go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, we still took fall damage? Come on, man. I gotta do me like that. Okay, boop. And, um, oh, really? I, um, why am I taking fall damage this time? So funny. All right, so we're gonna dismount again. And this time he's gonna be here and we're gonna talk to him. Thank and now that we talked to him, we just gotta tell him, you know, your girl came to visit you. And now we're gonna say Millicent paid a visit. All right, so now that we already talked to him, we're just going to click leave, and then we're going to go and find the next step. So now let's go ahead and pull up our map and find her one more time. Now, she's going to be all the way over here. Yes, guys. All, she like she took far. We're going to go to this location right here, which is called Air Tree Gazing Hill. This is the location where we're going to need to go to find her. Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel over there. And it is just crazy, crazy, guys, how far she walked this fast, right? Without even noticing. Like, I mean, she must have been on a dragon or something, but it's pretty crazy stuff. So, once again, guys, we're going to get on her horse. And you can see her over there real fast. We're just going to actually walk to her instead of getting on her horse because it just makes it easier. Just head over here. And you're going to notice that she's right here. All we're going to do is talk to her, and she'll give us more instructions. All right, so she's going to say, yo, you know, I don't have my sword. I need my sword. So we actually have to track someone. And so what we have to do is find a Valkyries, and we should be good to go. All right, so to get to the next stop, we've got to find her prosthetic arm. So what we need to do, guys, is we need to go to this location right here, which is called the Bridge of Iniquity. And we're going to be heading to this checkpoint right here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to maneuver around here. So I'm going to fast forward it as we get there so you guys can follow the same route. And then I'll meet you guys once we get to the location. Alright, so now that we made it to this location, guys, it's actually pretty, pretty easy. We're going to go here, make a quick right, and get to this part of the building, which is going to be right here. And you're going to see that little ledge. We want to get up here, and then we're going to dismount. It's going to automatically dismount us. We're going to go through here and work our way inside this cave. Now, we don't have to kill anybody. We could just kind of evade them. So it's really easily. Once we get to this ledge, we want to jump on top of here. So we'll keep going through here. And we want to make sure we work our way through here. Now, you are going to get some poison, but don't worry about it. Just jump, and you guys should be good to go. Jump up here. Climb up the ladder. I don't think we have to kill this guy, so we should be good. So we're going to climb up the ladder and work our way up there. So there's no, like, killing or nothing like that. We're just really good, fine and dandy without us having to do any sort of uh, fighting here. Keep going straight, guys. Just ignore these guys. They're, they're going to get a little bit aggressive, but you just got to ignore them, okay? Just ignore them. Keep going. Keep going straight. Ignore these guys. Do do dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. We're going to just keep evading these guys as much as we can here. And, you know, actually, let's just pick this up just to be on the safe side. All right, cool. And we're going to go through here. Avoid this. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe not avoid him. Maybe take him out. Okay, I see you. All right, take him out. Now he's dead. We're going to go in here. And we're going to open up the chest. And once we open up the chest, we're going to get her prosthetic arm. So once we have her prosthetic arm, now it's time to go back and talk to her and show her exactly what she needs to wield another sword. We're going to be heading back to the air tree gazing hills. We're going to press OK. And that should take us back to the spot where she's at. And now we just got to go talk to her and give her the arm. And then she's going to send us out onto another journey. So we're going to back up here, work our way up towards her. And we should be able to get her dialogue. And she'd be like, yo, thank you for my arm. Now I can actually go hit people. Yeah. So we're going to give her the Valkyrie pr uh, okay. prostate. All right, so for the next step, guys, we're actually going to be headed to this location right here. We're going to have to kill a boss, which is called the Windmill Village. If you don't have access to this location, you actually have to come to an area where it's going to teleport you, which is this the, for the, the forest spanning. That's going to pretty much have a teleport, and it's going to teleport you right here. Just work your way down here. And you're going to be access to the windmill village. So once you're in the village, all you got to do is make sure you hit the get your stuff ready. So you're going to definitely going to want to do your great rune. All right, <clears throat> get that activated. Now that's officially activated. You're also going to want to make sure you get your mimic ready whenever you go to the top. But 
we're just gonna keep going through the top here. So work your way up down. One thing I want, one tip I do want to make sure I give you guys is when you get up here, before you engage the ad, call out your men because he is a bit of a pain to kill. So I would suggest you work your way up here, but don't aggro him as soon as you get up here. You just gotta keep going up, 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 and away, and you should be good to go. So as soon as you get to this part right here where you see that windmill, that is where you want to go ahead and dismount. And you're going to also want to make sure you summon your Mimic here real quick. Alright. Summon your Mimic. And then you guys should be good to go here. So let's just kind of avoid this guy. And there you go. Down he goes. And my Mimic's still alive. We're still alive. We're staying alive. Woo, 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 woo. Staying alive. Alright, so now that we kill him, he's going to give us the God Skin Peller, which is, we're going to be able to take over here. Plus, we also get this flame thing. Alright, now we killed him. Now it's time to go get the side of grace and continue on the steps. Alright guys, so what we need to do next is pretty easy. As you guys see right here, there's no one there. So what we need to do is we actually need to hit the side of grace. We're going to go past time. And that is going to allow us to have her spawn in into the windmill height. So we're just going to do the same thing. Get up. And after we pass time, she should be located right here. Right outside the area. So we should be able to talk to her and start her dialogue. All right, so for the next step of the quest, guys, we're actually going to have to go up here to be able to continue the quest line. We're going to be to this location right here, and we're going to go to the Ancient Snow Valley Roots. So we're going to fast travel right here, press OK, and on this part, we're just going to go ahead and talk to her, and we should be able to continue her dialogue as we progress to this particular ending. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you could get everything from her, because she does give you some stuff, and as you see, we got the... Women bro, now we're going to talk to her, and she's going to go ahead and continue with her dialogue. Once you get through her complete dialogue, then we're going to need to go... Alright, so for the next step, guys, you're going to be going to this location right here, guys, which is the prayer room. So, if you don't know how to get to this area right here, I have a video on how to get to it, so I'll link it down below in the description. Head over to the prayer room. Once in the prayer room, you're going to see that she's here. So go ahead and talk to her, and then continue her dialogue until we go to the next step. Alright, so we're almost at the last step, guys. You're going to want to make sure you go to here, the FL Inner Wall, which is pretty, pretty far into this area. If you guys already came here, you guys uh, should already have this spawn located. And not when you came for the last step that we did, you guys should have access to this area. So basically, once you're here, it's just a matter of going into the uh, into the hallway and working away and uh, trying not to die here. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We're going to go to this area right here. And you're going to notice that there are a bunch of trees here located in this area. And we're going to have to go through them. Now there is a chest here that you can open up. This is going to be optional. I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm just going to kill everybody. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly where they drop. Alright, so after you killed all of them guys. All you got to do is open up the chest. And this is what the chest will have in store for you. You guys do be ready to pick it up. Which is the Rotten Crystal Sword. And you're able to have that. That's the sword that they use to actually melee you. Those crystal guys. And we're going to continue our path through here. And make our way up. One thing I would recommend. Which is what I did. Is after you kill them. Go to the side of Grace. Come back. And you should have your health back. Alright, so we're going to make our way up this tree, guys, and here we go. So, I am wearing a talisman that's supposed to hide me when I am crouched. And it's going to be coming very handy, especially when we're crossing this river, because this river is about to get crazy. We have a lot of ads that are here that are kind of just trying to kill us. So, what we want to do, guys, is we want to try to jump as far as we can and then go crouch here. And work our way as quickly as we can to avoid them. Now, theoretically, this talisman is supposed to help us wear... We will be concealed when uh, when we're crouched, so the enemy shouldn't be able to see us, as you see right there. What we do want to do is we want to make sure we pick this up. And... Alright, let's just keep jumping here. Ah, oh, come on now. Come on now. Work with my fam. If I take one more hit, I'm probably going to die. Alright, here we go. Alright, so, we made it. So now that we made it across, we got to get our health back, guys. So get our health back. There is no side of grace here, so we gotta just get our health back the way the way we can. Alright, so our health is back. Now we gotta jump down this tree. And we gotta make it up again. So once again, up, 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 up and away. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna go in here just to be on the safe side and pick this up. Alright, we pick that up. Go ruin. Now we can go down here and see what's there if we wanted to, which we are. And that's gonna lead to this bottom part right here. And this bottom part has a side of grace where we can get our health back, so it's very important. 
Now we can get our health back, get our potion back without a problem. We're good. Alright, so now we got our health back and everything ready to go. This is a really nice tip I wanted to give you guys so you guys know exactly where to get that set of grace. And now you're able to engage because that is, part it is a little bit tricky. You do lose a lot of stuff and this is a very nice way to actually get all that stuff back. So we're going to go up here. Work our way up the ladder. And then come back out. And then once we come back out, we actually have to cross to that section over there. Which is going to be pretty annoying. So we just got to go up this part right here. There is going to be an ad that we want to make sure we focus on. Okay. Take him out as quickly as we possibly can. Dodge those. Take him out. Where, where'd he go? Come on. Oh, really? Okay, so he should be dead. Alright, once again, guys, if you want to go back to the side of Grace without having to waste a flask, you're more than welcome to. And pick that up, and then get your health back, and then come back. That guy should not be there. Now we're going to go down the tree, and this is where we're going to have the boss fight. Now, I'm going to speed the boss fight up, so I don't want any spoilers for you guys, especially if you guys are going to do things for the first time. And I'm just going to show you guys me killing the boss. I'm going to jump on down, go up here, going to pick up that gold stuff, and then we're going to go away. One tip I want to give you guys, though, you want to keep in mind, if you want to kill a boss as soon as he spawns in, you're going to run back to that tree, and then you can just aggro him from there and just shoot him with your weapons. So pick this up real quick. A great cloak. We really straight out got hit. Uh, crazy here. Okay, we just go. Go this way. Go this way. And run here. Pick that flask again. We're going to try to avoid him. Alright, so we should straight out kill him. Alright, so there he goes, guys. He is completely dead. Now that we killed him, we got the golden seed and we're good to go. Now, the problem is we have to go to where those things are at. These are going to be the choices we got to make. Alright, so now it's time for us to decide, guys. We're going to work our way up this pathway where the mini boss spawned. And when we get to this location, guys, you're going to notice there's going to be a yellow and a red summoning option here. Now, these options are going to determine which ones you are going to pick from the two talismans that you're able to pick up. Now, if you decide to go to the red route, that's going to have you challenge Millicent. That's actually going to drop the Millicent Prothesis. Now, keep in mind, this is the route you want to go if you want to get the benefit of both talismans because if you go the yellow route, you're going to get the Rod and Winging Sigma and you will lose your chance of getting the Millicent Prothesis. Now, we can't replace the Millicent Prothesis because there's not another option for the Millicent Prothesis, but we can actually replace the Rod and Wing Sword and Sigma with just the Wing Sword and Sigma, which I'll show you guys how to get towards the end of the video. So if you want to get the Rod and Wing and Sigma, Assist Millicent. If you want to get the Millicent Prothesis, Challenge Millicent. So we're going to select, we're going to assist her, and we're going to click Yes. Okay. And this is going to put us in a battle where two people are going to attack her, and we are going to help her kill those two people. Okay. So there she is. Now we just got to go and... A helper kill these people right here, okay? Okay, okay, they, they no joke. Alright, so here we go. Down, down, there we go. Alright, so we killed them, we then defeated, and now we're gonna get our rewards, which should be coming up pretty shortly here, um, which should, we should get at the end of this loading screen. So here's the rewards that we're gonna be getting. Now, it's gonna be very important that you pay attention to what's gonna happen right now. So, we got the Rod and Winged Sword and Sigma. This is what you get when you help her out. You don't get this one when you decide to kill her. Now, what you want to do is you want to work your way back here because she's going to be over here on the other side laying on the ground. It is extremely important that you pay attention to this because this could goof it up and you could end up messing this up. So what you want to do, a lot of people jump down and they end up killing her. You want to walk as slowly as you possibly can and try to make sure you don't land on her and kill her. Now, depending on the choice you guys went in, hopefully you picked the choice to get the Middle Simpert Thesis and decided to actually fight her. Then, once you fight her and defeat her, you will be awarded the Middle Simpert Thesis. Now, the way you actually do this is once the fight is over, you want to go and go to the Grace Point, reset the Grace Point, come back to this area. She will be dead. Just talk to her, exhaust her dialogue, and then you will be able to get the Middle Simpert Thesis. Now, if you decided to go the other route and decided to help her, then you guys are going to have to continue the quest line and go and fight Melania since you were awarded the Golden Needle. And this is going to take you to the Scarlet Blossom, which is in the boss room, which will receive Michaela's Needle. And this would complete the quest line. Now, if you decided to go the route and get the Prothesis, 
Now let's show you guys where you can get the Wing and Sigma, not the Rana one, but the other one that's still going to give you almost the same amount of benefit as having both Talisman. So in order for you guys to get the Wing Sword and Sigma, guys, it is actually pretty easy and you get this at the early stages of the game. So once you guys come out of the castle and you go to this location right here, which is the lake facing cliff, you're going to be presented with this area. Basically, you want to work your way down all the way to the bottom of this uh, kind of hilltop. And you're going to go to the still water cave and this is where you're going to be able to fight a boss that will actually drop the Ying sigma i'm going to play the rest of the video so you got watch me go ahead and kill the boss and if you want to know what build i'm actually using i'm going to link it down below in the description and also in the notation known as my whipper rapper build 